I were it's four o'clock in the morning on a Sunday and we're in a 26 ton manual truck so it's going to be interesting I'm used to driving um, automatics and um, slightly shorter trucks uh, more usually the 18 tons but uh, I have driven one of these before um, it's got four up four down gears which can be a little bit difficult if you're not used to them and I'm not really used to them but I'm um, getting there and um, we're off to um, Upper Risington then we're going to Burton Vale, Stow on the Wold Shipston Hanwell Field so um, nice pretty places I think I think that's sort of like Cotswolds area but I might be wrong um, I haven't looked at the map yet so I've done the first use checks I'm just going to um, sort the sat nav out nip the ladies and then we're going to get going in a lay-by I'm just um, the Oxford side of the M1 um, I've got a feeling I, I'm gonna get to my first drop site quite early because there's nothing on the roads and um, I don't want to be pulling up with a refrigerated lorry in a residential area and just sitting there for ages with the the refrigerated engine going because on refrigerated lorries you you've got an engine that just keeps the fridge going and it's quite noisy so in residential areas um or at a drop site very often um it's better to switch the the fridge off because you just disturb the neighbours and they get a bit fed up of it actually um, but I don't want to be switching it off for a long period of time um, before the first drop because then that will drop the temperature you know you can when you're at a drop site um, you can have the back door open so you can switch it off but you don't want to switch it off more than you need to you know you want to keep everything as it should be so right so we're I'm just going to check to see what time this door opens. There may be somebody there beforehand, but there may not be. Let's have a look. I bet they'll open at 7. Yeah, 7. So there'll be somebody there from 7, and that's the planned arrival time. So it's about five past five now. So we are going to probably get there a bit early. Probably get there about half past six. So I'm going to have to pull over a little bit later on nearer the drop site. So if we're looking on the map, do -do -do. so we're going along, going to Oxford on the um, A34, so 
So, no. One that, we've just come off the A45, we've crossed the M1. We're then going on the A43 past Silverstone, down the M40, um, then on to the A34 towards Oxford. Then we're going to take the A40 towards Cheltenham, but then at Burford, we're going to go north, I think. Yeah, on to the A424. So, that A424 is a smallish A road, so there may or may not be places where I can pull over. So, on that A40, between Oxford and Burford, I'm going to be looking for somewhere just to pull over for half an hour or 20 minutes, something like that. Maybe 20 minutes because it might take me 10 minutes just to sort everything out. So yeah, that's what we'll do. But with these refrigerate, you know, it's Sunday morning, you know. Imagine some people have difficulty sleeping as it is, so you know, you don't want to be disturbing people with a noisy truck because um, they ain't going <laughs> to appreciate it. Let, let, let me put it that way. So, yeah, um, that's the plan. Right, so I just pulled up a, a, a lay-by. We're on the A40 now because uh, I don't want to be too early. Um, this, 
this is a 26 ton and um, I lied earlier about it being manual it's not I went to put my foot on the clutch and it wasn't there it's an automatic so that's even better because uh, I wasn't looking forward to driving the manual um, I'm still not I've only driven one of those four up four down uh, manual trucks once before and uh, most of the time it was okay but there was a few a few dodgy moments um, mainly because I was forgetting what gear I was in um, and uh, although I'm you know quite happy driving manual cars um, a truck ooh, mm, I, I'd, I'd rather have an automatic anyway um while we're here i just thought i'd talk about because this is a 26 ton what's the difference between a 26 ton and an 18 ton truck and uh weight is obviously <laughs> the main reason so so you've got one set of wheels at the front then you've got a double set of wheels at the back so you've got um, on one axle you've got four tyres, two on either side and then behind that you've got another axle with a single set of wheels so basically with trucks the more wheels that they have the more weight that they can take um, in your cab you'll have a little plate um, giving you what weight each axle can take right so on this truck the axle weights are for the front it's eight and I've got um, 7.7 .7. on the the double rear axle so the 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 axle that's got two sets of tires on it that maximum is a um, 11.5 ton and I've got 8.4 and then the rear one is 6.7 ton and I've got 4.8 too so I'm fine um, weight wise it is your responsibility to make sure that your weights your truck is legal on the road if you're overloaded and you get pulled by Vosa or if you're in an accident and it's found that you were overweight or your truck breaks down it's your problem you know as soon as you take that truck out of the yard it's your problem um, and you have to bear that in mind really and it's quite a serious thing in fact it's a very serious thing because basically if you're overweight you're driving an unsafe vehicle
reach your destination. because this is still on the wall. Rather than just go back a few inches. I was a little, that's the math that um, wasn't very pleased.
note that we may be going on a diversion because of the motor GP at Silverstone um, but because it's a smaller event than the Grand Prix um, you know for cars Formula One cars the road was open so I was quite happy about that in fact I was very happy about that and um, we sort of like missed the main sort of like time when everybody comes out so it was just before that which helped uh, there was a few motorbikes but uh, not not too many and it didn't really hinder us at, at all because I was at half expecting to have to go via Milton Keynes which I really didn't want to do one because it's all roundabouts and two it's quite a big diversion anyway we didn't have to do it so it doesn't matter Another nice thing is that what the drivers told me today 